everyone this is bhargav sutar and today we will learn about what is the integral domain and field so in this today's session we will discuss uh, properties of uh, ring then integral domain and what is a field okay so what are the properties of a ring now we discussed what is a ring in previous session now see if r is a ring then for all abc belongs to r these are the properties of a ring so the first uh, a dot 0 equals to 0 dot a that is equals to 0 fine then uh, a into minus b equals to minus of ab is same as minus a into b then minus a into minus b equals to a dot b okay then a into b minus a so it distributes so ab minus ac in same manner for right hand side b minus c uh, into a equals to b into a minus c into a so it right distributes fine so these are the properties of a ring now let us uh, discuss what is a ring without zero devices so if a and b are two elements of the set s then this s is a uh, without zero divisors if this a dot b equals to zero that implies a equals to zero or b equals to zero okay or if both are not zero that implies a dot b not equal to zero so this is a without zero divisor that means if the product uh, if the product is zero then any of the one is zero and if uh, both are not zero then the product is not zero so it is a without zero divisor okay now uh, so in integers product of two integers is zero if uh, uh, none of them uh, is zero hence set of integers is uh, without zero devices fine then with zero devices so if a is not equal to zero b is not equal to zero but the product is zero then the set is known as zero devices so we have one example like see uh, we uh, take this a as one zero 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 and b as zero 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 one now as you can see that both are not equal to zero but if we multiply then it will be zero so this is uh, with zero devices okay so hence we can say that this matrices are with zero devices fine now let us discuss what is an integral domain so a commutative ring without zero divisor is an integral domain fine so for integral domain so this r plus dot is an integral domain if what this r plus is an abelian group okay then r dot is a semi group with commutative property and multiplication distributes over addition from the left and also from the right fine so that is a b belongs to r so a into b equals to 0 that implies a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 so it is what it is a commutative ring without zero divisor so this first three conditions they are for uh, what they are for a ring and commutative ring okay as you can see that uh, they are commutative ring and the last condition it is for what it is for the without zero divisor that means uh, if the product is zero then any of them uh, I, any of them can be zero fine now next let us discuss example so i plus dot it is an integral domain then q plus dot it is an integral domain now let us discuss what is a field so a commutative ring with unity in which every non-zero element possesses their multiplicative inverse is known as a field uh, that is uh, what are the conditions that is f plus dot uh, we can say that it is a field if the first one this f plus is an abelian group okay then f dot is also an abelian group and multiplication distributes over addition from the left and also from the right so here f plus is an abelian group and f dot is an abelian group so that means closure property associative property then existence of identity existence of inverse and also commutative so these conditions must be hold and this one multiplication distributes over addition from the left and from the right for example uh, this q plus dot it is a field then r plus dot it is a field and c plus dot it is a field fine thank you